Hey everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and today we're taking a look at the iOS 11.4 beta version number one that was released today. Now there's two big stories here with the 11.4 update. The first one would be the introduction, or I should say the reintroduction of Apple AirPlay 2, which allows you to have multi-room support and added features over the standard AirPlay. Of course, this was here for the 11.3, uh, but it was removed during one of the last betas uh, before the final was released. But with this one, we do have AirPlay 2 back, which allows for multi-room support for playing devices on your HomePod. Now definitely one of the big new features would be the reintroduction, again another reintroduction uh, of messages for iCloud. With this you can sync all of your messages through iCloud, whereas before you could only get your messages back if you restored from an iCloud update which restored all of your data. Now this is just like photos or mail or Safari, whereas if you install a new device or you set up a new device, you can restore all of your past conversations without having to restore all of your apps, videos, stuff like that. So now it is part of the iCloud ecosystem again and hopefully it is here to stay because it has been a feature that has been promised for a while. Now another new feature which is geared entirely towards developers, it's not geared towards any uh, just normal iPhone or iOS users is ClassKit. Uh, this is just new API and new development tools for uh, programmers for creating their apps and implementing it with Apple's new ClassKit which is going to be used to implement their apps into school environments. Now stereo HomePod support is also here. Uh, you can group two devices together, two HomePods together, but unfortunately the HomePod itself is lacking an update that allows you to actually play it together. So until that comes out, you cannot actually use it, but the capability is now there for stereo sound from your HomePods. But in terms of new changes, this is pretty limited. Uh, the big thing would really be the class kit, which is a new development tool uh, for programmers that really is gonna allow Apple and their developers uh, to implement software into the classroom, which is gonna be big with their new iPad. But outside of that, we have some AirPlay 2 support, although it's not fully functional. We have some new HomePod support, again, not fully functional, um, and a couple other small differences but it's a pretty subtle difference even though it is a whole number jump. But that's about it for this video. Stay tuned for any other betas which we will be covering uh, for any new features and check out idownloadblog.com for the article of this or check the description down below. But until then, this is Harris and I'll catch you guys in the next one.